Matthew chapter 24, verse 28. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. This verse is referring to the saints destroying the false doctrines of sinners. Let's get a precept. Before we read this precept, be mindful of the fact that eating flesh in these verses means to reprove false doctrines from their minds. Revelation 19 and 17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. Let's go to the next verse in Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. This verse starts out by saying immediately, this does mean that it is next after the tribulation. Immediately also is a representation of the lightning that is mentioned in Matthew chapter 24, verse 27, immediately means that the word of God will replace the false doctrines. The next verse goes into more details about it. We'll get to it, but let us first keep breaking down this verse. The tribulation is referring to what we explained earlier in the series with the breakdown of verse 21. This is referring to saints being hated for keeping the commandments of God. If you haven't already, please review the second video of this series for more information about the tribulation. Now, let's go to Luke to explain more of Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Luke chapter 10, verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Stop right there. This verse uses the word lightning and fall from heaven, just like in Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. That's because it is talking about unrighteous rulers that teach the word being overthrown. Please continue. Luke 10 and 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Verse 20. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. This is further proof that the wise servants will replace the foolish servants. Remember the parable from Matthew chapter 25. Now let's deal with the sun, moon, and lights that are mentioned in Matthew chapter 24 verse 29. In some verses, these things are mentioned in a positive context by referring to the commandments. Matthew chapter 24 Verse 29 means iniquity. Let's prove it. Let's get some of the evidence from Revelation chapter 21. This chapter is talking about the righteous kingdom on earth. Revelation 21 and 23. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did light it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. This verse proves that philosophies will be replaced with the truth. Revelation chapter 22 verses 4 and 5 say the same thing. Now let's deal with the last part of Matthew chapter 24 verse 29 that says, And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. It is just a repeat of what we have been saying. Shaking refers to earthquakes. We've explained that earthquakes are referring to the word of God challenging the unrighteous rulers when we gave the understanding of Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. Let's get another precept about the same thing. Please pay attention to the way that the earthquake is mentioned in the verse. Matthew 27, verse 50 through 53. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints were slept arose. 
and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. This verse says that after the resurrection of Christ, not before the resurrection, but after, many saints that are already literally alive receive understanding about the scriptures. After the resurrection of Christ, the Bible was taught to many people all over the world, even the Gentiles, that we will discuss in another video. Let's move on to the next verse in Matthew chapter 24. Matthew 24 verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Now we know that after the tribulation of the Greek captivity, while Israelites or in the Roman captivity, that the sign of Christ's star appeared in the east because the wise men saw it. Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, and Luke chapter 2, verse 12 prove this. Now let's get more insight about this sign. Please read Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 through 40. Matthew 12, 38 through 40. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now this is also repeating what we just explained about the saints rising after the resurrection of Christ. When they rise of understanding, they will overthrow the false doctrines that are spewed by unrighteous rulers. Let's read a few more verses in Matthew chapter 12 to prove it. Matthew chapter 12, verse 41 and 42. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonas. And behold, a greater than Jonas is here. The queen of the south shall rise in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Now let's go back to Matthew and read verse 30 again. Please read Matthew chapter 24 verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. The scriptures will start to be taught properly in the world. Please continue. And then shall all tribes of the earth mourn. The wicked rulers in particular will be sad because they won't be allowed to teach the people to sin anymore. We say this because the wicked rulers have to be sad since they will no longer be ruling. Let's get one precept and then continue reading this verse. Please read Matthew chapter 19. Verse 28. Matthew 19, verse 28. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes. Now we are going back to chapter 24. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and glory. The scriptures will give righteous people favor in the kingdom of Israel. The clouds of heaven is referring to favor in the kingdom. Power and glory is also referencing the kingdom. Let's get a precept for clouds. Proverbs 16 verse 15. In the light of the king's countenance is life. In his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. Let's get a precept for power and glory. Matthew chapter 6 verse 13 and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen let's move on to the next verse in matthew chapter 24 matthew 24 verse 31 and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other this verse is referring to the prophets teaching the word to people 
to bring the kingdom of Israel by getting people to keep the commandments. 2 Maccabees chapter 1 verse 27 and 2 Maccabees chapter 2 verse 18 say the same thing. The four winds from one end of heaven to the other are that every land under heaven in 2 Maccabees chapter 2 verse 18. Let's move on with the breakdown of Matthew chapter 24 verse 31. The angels in Matthew chapter 24 verse 31 are referring to people. Let's get two precepts for angels. In these two verses, angels and people are the same. 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that God had set forth us the apostles last, as we were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. 1 Corinthians 6, 2 and 3. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And the world shall be judged by you? Are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? Let's go back to Matthew. The great sound of a trumpet is referring to the word of God being properly taught. Let's get some understanding on the word trumpet with the scripture. Isaiah 58.1 Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Now let's get some insight on the great sound by going to another verse. The scripture will shed more light on the word trumpet and give insight on the great sound. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. The trump is the same as trumpet. A shout is a great sound. Let's go back to Matthew. The four winds and one end of heaven to the other is referring to all of the earth. Please get the scripture that proves why the elect has to be gathered from all over the earth. Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, with other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Now the process of reaching the elect started in Matthew chapter 10. Let's read a few verses about it. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5 through 7. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of God is at hand. They didn't teach the Gentiles. This means that they weren't completing Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Let's read that verse. And then get back to finishing the breakdown of Matthew chapter 24, verse 31. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached into all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Now the process of this task continued with Acts chapter 9, verse 15. We are about to read a verse about Paul. Acts 9 and 15. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me, to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. Now let's break down the next verse in Matthew chapter 24. Matthew 24 verse 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender, and put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. This verse is saying that when the disciples start properly teaching the word of God, the reign of the unrighteous teachers is about to end. Let's prove that this statement is faithful and true. The branch is referring to teachers. John chapter 15 verses 1 and 5 give the evidence. Let's get it. John 15 and 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husband. Verse 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. 
He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Now the leaves in Matthew chapter 24, verse 32, are referring to the word of God. The scriptures say to prove all things. Let's prove it. Revelation 22, verse 1 and 2. And he showed me a pure river of water, of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the streets of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. These leaves have to be the word of God, because it is the only thing that can heal people according to the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16, verse 12. Wisdom of Solomon, verse 16, chapter 16, verse 12. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. Let's go back to Matthew, chapter 24, verse 32. When the unrighteous rulers start to fall and fall, the unrighteous rulers will bring tribulation in winter, then the righteous rulers will start to spring up in spring to bring the kingdom that is in the summer. Remember Matthew chapter 24, verse 20. It talked about winter. Now let's move on to the next verse in Matthew chapter 24. Matthew 24, verse 33. So likewise, ye when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. This verse is saying that the people that see these things will know that the kingdom is about to return. These people will see it by watching. Watching is referring to keeping the commandments. Stay tuned because we will explain it next. Sirach 33 verse 17. Consider that I labored not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. Shalom. Shalom.